Sorry. Mrs. McMaster is not home for company at the moment. Oh, what nonsense. We're expected. And we're not company. We're old friends. Perhaps you could ask Mrs. McMaster when she will be home. Radio. Come back here and <laughs> fetch the baggage. What are you doing greeting visitors anyway? Where are the Johnsons? Oh, Prudence, I'm so sorry. I tried to telephone you, but you'd already left. Oh, my dear Hilly, I thought we were expected. What on earth's the matter? Well, I have no staff. My house is in an uproar. Mr and Mrs Johnson have taken a sudden and most inconvenient retirement. Retirement? And they've left me, yes. We could telephone Mr Butler and have him come down by train. Yeah. And I'm very happy to make myself useful. <laughs> but the burglary too. Uh, Kip. What burglary? Sergeant. Sergeant, why won't you take my word for it? You're not out back now, Mr McNaster. We have rules. That coin was handed in, so unless you can prove ownership... But how can I prove anything if you won't let me see it? I'm a very busy man, sir. So in the absence of any evidence of a break-in, I'm afraid there's very little else I can do. Good day to you, sir. Uh, uh, Gerald. Ah, oh, Mr Stanley. Mother, I thought you were going to telephone. <laughs> I'm afraid we'd already departed. Hilly, my dear, you need help on all fronts. You do realise that my niece is a private detective of the utmost discretion and capability. Indeed. Is she really? Specialises in murders. <laughs> but I'm sure she'll make do with a robbery. Oh, well, I suppose you'd better come in, then. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Tell oh, me Hilly, about it. so lovely to see you. <laughs> Good. Here we are. Perhaps we should leave the champagne in the boot, daughter. 